Okay, so following on from Alison's live the other day and Lynn's tip for the stretchy cast off, um, I thought I'd do it on a pair of booties. I really like it on the booties. It gives a little bit of, of extra stretch, uh, but not making it uh, too loose. So um, it's perfect for, um, for these. It'd be perfect for um, a collar when you fold it over um, to cast off just to give a little bit of extra uh, stretch in that. Okay, so um, I know we said knit two together, but I actually find it easier to, to knit two together through the back of the loop. Um, so you knit two together through the back of the loop and then you put this stitch back on your left hand needle and you knit two together through the back of the loop. You put this stitch back on your needle and you knit two together through the back of the loop. And you keep doing that all the way across the cast off. I'm gonna do this all the way because I've only got, I've not got that many stitches on so it won't take me that long to do. Put your stitch back on the left hand needle and knit two together. And just keep doing that all the way across. Now, not only does this give you a bit of a stretchy edge, it also gives you a nice, neat looking edge. Um, I did try it on a, oops, on a blanket, but it left it a little bit loose. So I undid it and cast off in the normal way. So. I think you need to pick and choose where you do it. That's my opinion. Um, I personally don't think I would do it on a, a band because I think it would make it too wobbly. You know how it goes wavy. Um, so, uh, but definitely on the booties, definitely on the collar where you fold it over, um, on, on the neckband rather where you fold it over, on a collar, Possibly, um, it would. I'd have to see how how loose it came up when I did it. So once you get to the end, you just snip as normal and uh, finish it off by putting your end through the loop and pulling it. Now, some some of you struggle with getting a nice neat uh, loop here. So what I do is I pull. If you pull one side of the stitch you pull the, the yarn back out so pull the other side of the stitch and pull it nice and tight and then pull your and then that doesn't give you that loopy stitch that you get sometimes at the end and there's the the edge for the uh, for that cast off uh, that I've just done and um, you see it's nice and neat that would be lovely on the edge of a collar um, as long as it didn't make it too um, too wavy and as you can see, it's got a nice little bit of stretch on it. So when you when you sew the boots together and fold that over, um, it gives you a nice um, a nice little bit of stretch on that. I hope that helps.